breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Nigerian government plans to kill Unamdekanu by denying him access to medical treatment. Nigerian government plans to kill Unamdekanu by denying him access to medical treatment. Ibo Coalition speaks. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, Please stay tuned as I read today's news. The Coalition of Southeast Youth Leaders, COSIL, has accused the Nigerian government of planning to kill the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Unam Dekano, by denying him access to medical treatment. Within Nigeria, had reported that if he are in a jail for counsel for the IPOB leader said that Kanu is suffering from gastrointestinal illness, which necessitates that requires that he sees his doctor often for proper medication as ordered by the court of law. A jail for said that the Department of State Services DSS had denied Kano access to his personal doctor and medication. Reacting to Legio Force claim, Kosul, President General Goodluck Ibem, in a statement on Wednesday, said the action of the DSS encourages lawlessness. The statement read, It is very alarming that the DSS, that is a creation of the law that derives our powers from the law, will so blatantly disobey a court order, preventing Unam Dekan free access to his medical doctor for treatment. If the DSS has no regard, and respect for court order, it's query, from where did they derive their powers to detain him? Are they trying to tell Nigerians that they are detaining him without the order of the court? We are asking these pertinent questions because the actions of DSS to disobey court orders goes a long way to tell us that they are detaining Unam Dekanu by their own order and not by the order of the court. The DSS has no right or powers to determine which court order to obey and the want not to obey. They are mandated by the law to obey all court orders. Maybe we need to remind the DSS that we are in a democratic system of government where people's fundamental human rights and privileges must be respected to the letter. The international disobedience of courts orders by DSS is an insult to our hard end democracy and we demand that it must stop forthwith. We call on the DSS to immediately allow Mazi Unam Dekanu free access to his medical doctors and family members as directed by the court. The actions of the DSS are putting our ad and democracy in great danger. When a goat is opening the pot of soup to steal from it, the kid from the goat watches and learned from the mother. The DSS is teaching Nigerians how to disobey, how to disobey the law and court orders. 
if all Nigerians start disobeying the law and court orders, like the DSS is teaching Nigerians to do, anarchy will set in and there will be no country to call our own. The coalition of Southeast youth leaders? Koseul has accused the Nigerian government of planning to kill the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, who named the Kano by denying him access to medical treatment. Within Nigeria, had reported that if he are in a GO4, counsel for the IPOP leader said that Kano is suffering from gastrointestinal illness, which necessitates that requires that he sees his doctor, often for proper medication, as ordered by the court of law. Ejiofo said that the Department of State Services, DSS had denied Kano access to his personal doctor and medication. Reacting to Ejiofo's claim, Kosol President General Goodluck Ibem, in a statement on Wednesday, said the action of the DSS encourages lawlessness. The statement read, It is very alarming that the DSS that is a creation of the law that derives our powers from the law. We so blatantly disobey a court or that preventing Unamdekano free access to his medical doctor for treatment. If the DSS has no regard and respect for court orders, it's queried from where did they derive their powers to detain him. Are they trying to tell Nigerians that they are detaining him without the order of the court? We are asking these pertinent questions because the actions of DSS to disobey court orders goes a long way to tell us that they are detaining Unam Dekano by their own order and not by the order of the court. To my dear listener, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Please, thank you.